intravascular pressure monitoring setup with the TrueWave transducer. Part 1. Priming the system. Bedside measurement of intravascular pressures is a basic tool in the care of the critically ill patient. TrueWave disposable pressure transducers can be paired with Edwards BAMP systems to create a single integrated pressure monitoring and closed blood sampling system. TrueWave transducers are available in single, bifurcated, and trifurcated forms to suit your patient needs. The following animation demonstrates best practice in the setup of a single TrueWave disposable pressure transducer. Here's what you will need to get started. One true clip holder or an arm mount strip, a 500 or 1000 milliliter normal saline IV bag, a properly sized IV bag pressure cuff, and appropriate cable that connects your bedside patient monitor to the TrueWave transducer. Prepare the TrueWave transducer using the following five steps. Step 1. Using aseptic technique, remove the transducer kit from the sterile packaging and ensure all connections are secure. Step 2. TrueWave transducers can be mounted on either an IV pole or on the patient's arm. The setup procedure is the same. This video demonstrates the pole-mounted method. Insert the TrueWave transducer into a mounting back plate that is secured on an IV pole. Step 3. De-air the IV bag and prime the TrueWave system. Invert the normal saline IV bag so air raises to the base of the bag. Anticoagulation per institutional policy. Spike the IV bag with the fluid administration set, keeping the drip chamber upright. Open the roller clamp on the IV set. Open the vent port by turning the stopcock toward the patient's pressure tubing and away from the transducer while leaving the vented cap in place. While keeping the IV bag inverted, gently squeeze air out of the bag with one hand while pulling the snap tab flush device with the other hand until air is emptied from the IV bag and the drip chamber is filled at least halfway or per institutional policy. Insert the IV bag into a pressure infuser bag and hang on an IV pole approximately two feet or 60 millimeters above the patient. Confirm that the IV bag hook is securely hung on the IV pole. If not secure, the IV bag could fall out as the pressure bag deflates. Do not inflate the pressure bag. Step four. Prime the TrueWave system to gravity to avoid microbubbles in the line. Pull the snap tab flush device to deliver the flush solution through the TrueWave transducer and out through the vent port's vented cap. Remove all air bubbles. Close the vent port by turning the stopcock toward the cap. Holding the pressure tubing in an upright 45 degree angle, Pull the snap tab to flush the remaining part of the line through the end of the tubing. Visually inspect the line to ensure that all air bubbles are removed. Pressurize the IV flush solution bag to 300 millimeters of mercury. Turn stopcock toward the pressure bag to lock off air pressure. Intermittently assess pressure during use as pressure decreases when fluid leaves the IV bag. Low pressures in flush bag may lead to dampened pressure waveform and incorrect readings. Pull the snap tab to flush the system under pressure while tapping on the tubing and stopcocks to remove any residual bubbles. Step 5. Replace all the opaque vented caps on the side ports of the system stopcocks with non-vented caps. We have now completed priming the system. Please continue to part two of this video series, Calibration, to complete the setup of the TrueWave transducer with the bedside physiologic monitor.